For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith. There are some actors in television who haven't done much, but remain iconic for a single role, and sometimes that's more than enough. This is the case for Tempest Bledsoe, who won the role of her career as Vanessa Huxtable at 11 years old. She remained a representation of adolescent and teenage black girls throughout the 1980s. Vanessa was a good child in the Huxtable family, bringing home good grades and excelling in school, unable to resist the urge to participate in family gossip, especially when it involved one of her siblings. Bill Cosby has always stated that the purpose of The Cosby Show was to showcase a household where the parents were in charge. At that time, most TV sitcoms on the air were from the kids' point of view and often outsmarted the adults around them. Tempest Bledsoe's performance as Vanessa Huxtable is one we remember for her quick wit, being able to keep up with both Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad whenever the scene called for it, displaying her remarkable comedic abilities, which is why Tempest Bledsoe will always be unforgotten. Born in 1973 in Chicago, Bledsoe's parents knew she would become an immediate star. According to the Chicago Tribune, Bledsoe began modeling with the a talent agency at the age of three. From there, it didn't take long to start acting in commercials, singing, and then eventually television and film. In a 2012 interview with The Griot, Bledsoe reflected on her early start in Hollywood. I started modeling when I was about three and sung singles on the radio for years. Cosby was actually my first acting audition. My parents were divorced when I was quite young, so it was really all my mother's doing. My mother was a teacher in Chicago at Warren Elementary, and she was just very astute at identifying what children excelled at, and she saw that I was a natural performer. Bledsoe moved to New Jersey at the age of 10 to pursue a television career. With The Cosby Show being her first acting audition, she was offered the role of Vanessa Huxtable, the third daughter and fourth overall child of Cliff and Claire, based on Ensa Cosby, the real-life daughter of Bill and Camille. Bledsoe was 11 years old when the show would make its debut in September 1984. Like Bledsoe, Ensa was born in 1973, but would unfortunately pass away in February 2018 from renal disease. Before her death, Ensa had been a strong defender of her father, claiming that Bill Cosby was being publicly lynched in the media, once being quoted saying, The accusations against my father have been one-sided from the beginning. When he tried to defend himself, he was sued in civil court. I've seen the accusations become more horrific and extreme with time, and I've witnessed my father's reputation and legendary works be dismissed without any proof. I strongly believe my father is innocent of the crimes alleged against him, and I believe that racism has played a big role in all aspects of this scandal. She would not live to see her father's sentencing in September 2018. We remember Vanessa Huxtable as the typical teenager throughout the run of The Cosby Show. She was a great student who enjoyed school, but was the nosy sibling who couldn't stay out of the family business whenever someone was in trouble. As Vanessa, Bledsoe's comedic timing were displayed opposite Bill Cosby, trying to convince her father that she was innocent in between Theo and Rudy's mischievous activities. According to the book Cosby, His Life and Times by Mark Whitaker, Cosby originally envisioned Vanessa Huxtable as a young old soul, a child who could read her siblings and outwit her parents, but whose intelligence would fly out the window as she became obsessed with social popularity and appealing to boys. There's no other scene in The Cosby Show that perfectly sums up this description than season 6's The Night at the Wretched, where Vanessa and her friends sneak to Baltimore for a concert. Vanessa is supposed to be intelligent and precocious, but not pompous. I sat down and thought, I know that actions speak louder than words, so I figured out her actions first, then I knew how to say the words. We all know how much of a supporter of higher education Dr. Cosby is, so when Bledsoe expressed interest in going to college while still on the show, he made sure it wasn't a problem for his TV daughter. I wanted to go to college on time, and I did. When Dr. Cosby found out I was doing that, he moved the shooting schedule. Dr. Cosby was so wonderful to me to allow me to go to school and work on the show at the same time. They made a lot of allowances in the schedule for that to happen, but of course, school was always paramount to him. So once I expressed the desire to do that, it was done. When asked about her decision to attend college, Bledsoe told Access Online, I never intended to stop acting. I really just wanted to experience something different that was going to be of real use to me and take me to a whole nother realm. Bledsoe would end up graduating from New York University with a degree in finance. After The Cosby Show ended its run in the spring of 1992, Bledsoe's next full-time endeavor would be the host of her own daytime talk show, The Tempest Bledsoe Show which ran for one season between 1995 and 1996. My viewpoint's pretty unique from all the other hosts on television, whether it's the fact that I'm young and I just got out of college, or that I'm African-American and a woman. 
There are lots of things that come together that make me different. We talk about relationships that we all have in common, like mothers and fathers and boyfriends and girlfriends. Everybody can get something out of it. In most markets, the series aired alongside another daytime talk show, Ricky Lake, which also focused on relationships and family issues. Both hosts were in their 20s. However, Bledsoe's series was unable to keep up with Ricky Lake in the ratings and was eventually canceled after being on the air for less than a year. After her talk show, Bledsoe would continue to act in television with guest roles in sitcoms like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and The Parkers, along with acting in dramas like The Practice and Strong Medicine. Aside from acting, Bledsoe got her feet wet in reality TV by becoming a contestant on VH1's Celebrity Fit Club. According to People Magazine, during her time on the show, Bledsoe lost 19 pounds and remains a vegetarian. For me, what works best is to try and eat healthy and not worry about the scale. After Celebrity Fit Club, Bledsoe continued trying her hand at the world of reality television, this time starring alongside her husband, Daryl M. Bell, in the series House Husbands of Hollywood. The premise of the series focused on following a family where the wives were the breadwinners. It was something that a friend of mine was producing and I was like, why not, let's try it. But I'm a little too private for that, so it's not my forte. The genre is just so huge at this point and can be so many different things. It's just another way to communicate with an audience, but as far as talking about my private life and stuff like that, it's not my thing. After hosting yet another reality series Clean House in 2010, the following year, Bledsoe returned to primetime television on NBC in a regular role for the first time in 20 years with the sitcom Guys With Kids. The series followed three men raising their children with the help of their partners. Bledsoe starred opposite Anthony Anderson. Unfortunately, the series would only last one season and was canceled after 17 episodes aired. Years after The Cosby Show ended, Bledsoe made sure to keep in touch with her former co-stars, including Mr. Bill Cosby, whom she credits with helping protect her from the many pitfalls that child actors become victim to. Between him and my mom, there were no better examples. The focus was always on having a healthy childhood. Bledsoe is one of the few cast members from the series who hasn't publicly commented on the allegations surrounding Cosby. Some members of the cast, like Felicia Rashad, have come out in support of Cosby, while others like Keisha Knight Pulliam and Malcolm Jamal Warner have defended the show's legacy while distancing themselves from the man himself. When it comes to Bledsoe's personal life, a 2011 interview with People Magazine offered more insight. The profile interview would reveal that Bledsoe and her husband Daryl M. Bell were still yet to be married. The two met when Bledsoe's Vanessa Huxtable guested on an episode of A Different World where Bell played Ron Johnson in 1989. The two have been together ever since. When it came to walking down the aisle, Bledsoe said, I wouldn't say never, but we feel great about the way things are. This is a tough business for anyone, especially if you start out young. I feel really lucky about the way things have turned out. Bledsoe's most latest roles have included the Lifetime original movie Jingle Bell, starring Tatiana Ali, and an appearance on the sitcom Family Reunion on Netflix in 2019. Vanessa Huxtable became an inspiration to young black children growing up. The actress playing her was completely aware of the power she had when it came to representation and loved up to being that role model in the most graceful and elegant way, which is why Tempest Bledsoe will always remain unforgotten.